today we are estimating the amount of creatinine by Jeffrey's method. You know that the creatinine is uh, the product of nitrogen metabolism found by the three main amino acids, one is glycine, arginine and methionine. Methionine is the methyl group donor in the formation of creatinine. Now, what is the importance of this method? Remember, this, uh, the, by using this amount of creatinine in the blood sample, in the serum as well as in the urine sample, we can assess how well the kidneys are functioning. They are known as kidney function test. By using this kidney function test, uh, we can determine how well the kidneys are functioning. And one of them is estimating the creatinine in the serum as well as in the urine sample. And the normal level of creatinine in the serum is 0.7 to 1.3 mg per 100 ml in men, whereas it is up to 1.1 mg per 100 ml in case of women. In case of women, the level is lesser because of lower muscle content in women. Now, let us discuss what is the principle involved in this procedure. Remember, this is estimated by Jeffrey's method. Now, what is the principle known here is creatinine reacts with the picric acid that is 246-trinitrophenol in presence of alkaline medium. Here, NaOH provides alkaline medium and creatinine reacts with the picric acid in alkaline medium. Orange color product is formed. And this, by measuring this, the intensity of the orange color, we can find out the amount of creatinine in the given sample. Now, let me explain. The procedure involved in this method in brief. Remember, here we require eight test tubes. This is already there. Test tube number uh, one is blank. Blank means there is no creatinine here, and this blank test tube is used to, to make the absorb uh, the set of the reading hundred in the calculator. And there, there is no creatinine in the blank, and you would add two ml of distilled water and two ml of picric acid and 0.2 ml of 10% NaOH in test tube number 1. In test tube number 2, remember, test tube number 2 to 6, it contains the standard creatinine solution. That is, the creatinine, what is standard solution means, it contains the fixed amount of creatinine. For example, see here, the standard solution, the take test tube number 6 here, the 1 ml of the creatinine contains 200 microgram. That is 200 microgram per ml is the concentration of 1 ml of standard solution and ultimately since the 1 ml contains 200 microgram ultimately 0.8 ml of creatinine contains 160 microgram 0.6 contains 120 microgram 0.4 contains 80 microgram 0.2 contains 40 microgram blank there is no creatinine and test tube number 7 and 8 are unknown the, main, uh, the, 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 aim, the aim of the experiment is you have to find out the concentration of unknown, the, what is the concentration of unknown. That is, you have to find out the amount of unknown, how much unknown creatinine is present in the student number 7 8. That is done by Jaffrey's method. Now, let me demo this experiment. Now, I told uh, the student number 1 is blank, the student number 2 is, it contains uh, 0.2 ml of creatinine, and uh, it, it, you have to add 1.8 ml of this water and 2 ml of picric acid and 0.2 ml of 10% 10 uh, NaOH for test tube number 2 test tube number 3 you have to take 0.4 ml of creatinine and you have to add 1.6 ml of distilled water and 2 ml of picric acid and 0.2 ml of 10% NaOH test tube number 4 take 0.6 ml of creatinine and uh, you have to add 1.4 ml of distilled water 2 ml of picric acid and 0.2 ml of 10% NaOH test tube number 5 and 6 I will turn here, part of number 5 contains 0.8 ml of creatinine and you would add 1.2 ml of this water you would add 2 ml of picric acid and 0.2 ml of 10% NaOH Test tube number 6, 1 ml of standard creatinine and uh, you would add 1 ml of this water, 2 ml of picric acid and 0.2 ml of 10% NaOH and Test tube number 7 8 are the unknown This unknown and you would, what you would do is the unknown is separately given in a standard class See here is already repeated off the unknown, uh, repeating the unknown in the standard class of volume 100 ml. And it's repeating 
the unknown solution is uh, taken from the stock. It is taken from the stock. One. Now he is repeating the uh, unknown creatinine. It is taken from the stock. Okay, the unknown is repeated here. Make up much. And you have to make up this unknown up to the mark by adding this water. See here, add this water slowly. This is the unknown. And the, 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 what is the aim of the experiment? You are estimating the amount of creatine present in the unknown sample. By Jaffe's method, you add distilled water up to the mark. And from this, then you have to add, you have to use the pipette to make up to the mark. Okay, just take this, you have to use this four finger, it should be completely dry, pip it out, pip it out and uh, just have to add this low water using pipette. Some more, some is, some more is required. And slowly, okay. See here. I'm going to the mark since it is a colorless solution. The lower meniscus solution should coincide with the mark. And after adding water up to the mark, you have to, you have to shake it properly. Shake it properly so that it mixes thoroughly. And uh, yeah, and, uh, then after that, this is our unknown solution. And from this, you have to pipette out. See, here, yeah, I mentioned here in test tube number 7 and 8, you have to take a 2 ml of unknown, 2 ml of unknown, 2 ml of unknown in test tube number 7 and 8. Mm -hmm. Here, 7 and 8, you don't need to add this water, you can directly add 2 ml of picric acid and 0.2 ml of NMH in the test tube number 7 and 8. Now he is adding that. He added 2 ml of uh, unknown. He, he, he has added 2 ml of unknown for the uh, known solution. And they are just taking two more, one more 2 ml, the, the duplicate, the rest of number 8. Okay, add 1.8 ml of water 
Question number two. And 1.6 ml of uh, natural oil, question number 3. 1.4 ml of this water, question number 4. Now that picric acid is a strong acid and that since it contains three nitro group, it is electron withdrawing group, because of the presence of three electron withdrawing group, it can easily release the proton. Therefore, picric acid is a strong acid. Is that adding picric acid, 2 ml each to all the tubes, including unknown? Added 
to all the test tubes from test tube number 1 to 8, I have already explained the NaOH provides alkaline medium in the reaction. The alkaline medium is required because the alkaline medium it plays a very important role in the formation of orange red colored complex during the reaction. adding NaOH 10% that is prepared by adding a, a 10 ml of 10 gram of uh, NaOH in a 100 ml of distilled water that is 10% NaOH and uh, the 0.2 ml of NaOH is added to point all point two, point two, sorry 0.2 ml of NaOH is added to all the rest 0.2 I put in three, it is 0.2 ml of NaOH to all the rest going to add 0.2 ml of NaOH color difference and uh, you get here after adding the NaOH you have to keep the, all the test tubes for 15 minutes uh, at room temperature you, are, you keep all the test tubes at room temperature for 15 minutes for color development you are going to get here orange red colored complex The orange red colored complex is from here. That is due to be, there is uh, nothing but in inolized tautomer of creatinine pick rate. By measuring the intensity of orange red colored complex that is formed, you can find out the amount of creatinine in the given sample. Yes, the color formation is already started here. You can see here. First yellow color. And yeah, first uh, everything yellow color. Slowly it changes to orange red colored complex. It's already started. The color development is already started. It requires 15 minutes. Okay. And for to measure the absorbance, you require a calorimeter. The calorimeter is required. To measure the absorbance and to measure the absorbance, this is a gyrometer. You have to select the filter 54 and this is a cuvette. Cuvette and that is, is fixed here, and in this cuvette you have to take the solution. Whose absorbance is to be measured, and uh, the filter I have taken here 54 because for to measure the absorbance uh, of the resulting solution at 540 mm, the filter selected is 54, and I will repeat once again, it's a fluid, and this fluid is used to fill the solution, and by, by using that solution, you have to measure the water, the amount of creatine present in the solution. Okay. And remember, and remember this experiment is based on a beer Lambert's law. And um, state that the, when the beam of monochromatic light is passed through the absorbing solution, the amount of light that is absorbed is uh, directly proportional to the concentration of the solution that is taken inside and the uh, thickness of the medium. That is, this uh, principle, this experiment is based on Beer Lambert's law.
Now see, yeah, the color development is already started. And uh, mm, Concentration of creatine that is taken in the test Greater the concentration of creatine, greater will be the intensity of the color. What happened now? Okay. Now, once the color is seen, the color is now getting here. Okay. Now, Okay, once you get the color, orange red color complex, up to that, we have to add 5.8 mm. I put on the again. 5.8, approximately 6 ml of distilled water to all the testers. Now you are going to add 6 ml of distilled water to all the testers. For adding 6 ml, 6 ml of distilled water to all the test tubes, you better use 10 ml pipette. Okay. Now he has added a here the water, approximately 6 ml of this uh, water to all the test tubes. After adding water, you have to shake it well. Shake it well before taking the Absorbance values before taking the optical density OD values, you have to shake, the well, shake well all the testers. And you know that uh, this experiment is based on Weir Lambert's law, and Weir Lambert's, uh, Weir Lambert's law it holds good for dilute solutions. Okay, he's adding water, 6 7 to all the test tubes. You can see here. Yeah? Because we are going to get here orange red color complex. Remember this experiment, uh, this uh, estimation of reaction it is uh, very important biologically. I told uh, by measuring the amount of reaction in the serum and the blood sample, you can assess how well the kidneys are functioning. Now, see so here, I am measuring uh, the uh, absorbance values of all the test tubes. So and uh, first, we so first we take blank and uh, make it auto zero. Before I take blank first. Blank is there. What is blank? Test tube number one is the blank. Right? Huh? Hmm. Hello. 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 Hello.
This is a... No, but the purpose of taking blank is to make it utter zero. Blank. Blank. This is blank. Yeah. Blank. Zero. By taking the blank, you make it utter zero. After that, you have to take the observance yes. value. Yes. Uh, yes. The remaining yes. test tubes, once the, you may set it to utter zero, next. Okay, now take it out. Chal, chal, yeah. okay. You take test tube number one. Number two. Test number sorry, test number one is blank. Take yes. test number two, it's blank. It's blank. Take the test tube number two. You wipe it out. Wipe it out using the printer paper. And keep it in the uh, Keep it and measure the absorbance. Measure the absorbance. And